In this video, we will change host name of a cPanel server. Log into WHM as user root. Then search for host name. We will change the host name to server46.hostonet.com. Enter the new host name here. Then click on change. Next, you need to click add an A entry for your host name button. Click on add A entry. This is a server's main IP. This is a new host name. Take a note of this IP address. Copy the IP address. Now click on add entry. Next, we need to add an A record for this subdomain and point it to the server IP address in the DNS server used by the domain name. The domain use Cloudflare to manage the DNS. So let's log into Cloudflare. Search for the domain name. Click on the domain name. On the sidebar, click on DNS. Now let's see if we have a DNS entry. Server 46. If you have an entry, you need to modify or delete it. In this case, I will delete this entry. Now we will add a new entry. Click on add record. If you don't have a previous record for this subdomain, you can just add the record. The record name is server 46. Then you need to enter the IP address. This is a service main IP address. Copy that. Paste it here. Next, we need to disable the proxy. For that, click on the toggle. Click on save. Now, let's verify the DNS is pointed properly. For that, use the command nslookup server 46. It is pointing to the new server IP. Next, we need to get the SSL for the host name. For that, go to WHM. Search for service SSL, service SSL, then click on manage service SSL certificates. Here you can see the SSL certificate is for two domains. We will reset the certificate. Click on reset certificate, restart. Now the SSL got deleted and we have a self-signed SSL. Let's log in with the new host name. We are getting self-signed SSL warning. Click on advanced, accept the risk and continue. Log into WHM again. Enter the root password and click login. Again, go to the service SSL. We need to reset other certificates also. Reset certificate. Do the same for other FTP and XM also. Reset certificate proceed. Reset certificate. Now to see the certificate details, you can click on. We have self-signed SSL certificate now. cPanel will issue a new certificate for the hostname shortly. We can speed up by manually running the SSL check. For that, go to terminal. In the terminal, run user local cPanel bin check all SSL certs. This command will check the SSL certificate for the server hostname and issue the SSL certificate. Order submitted. You will get an SSL very shortly. And this process can take 5 to 10 minutes. While we waiting for the SSL certificate, let us go to the mail delivery setting. Click on the email deliverability link. We have some warning here. We need to add this text record. Go back to Cloudflare. Add the DNS record. Select TXT, enter the name, then copy the value, paste it here, and click on save. Next, we need to add a text record. First of all, let's verify the text record exists. Search for server 46. There is only two entries. One is a record. Other is the text record DKIM. Let's add another TXT record. From the drop-down, select TXT. And the name, you can copy and paste this name. Copy paste it here then this is the value you need to add copy it paste it here then click on save now refresh the page to see if these errors are fixed we have the dkm error fixed now it is showing valid spf is valid now we have reversed dns that is showing default host name provided by the server provider we need to change this for that, go to the Xing configuration, EXIM, then search for hello, HELLO, 
here you have the option use the reverse dns entry for the mail hello if available turn it off then you need to save click on the save button now go back to email deliverability email deliverability click on the link now we have a warning under the reverse dns ptr what we need to do is set a reverse dns for the server's main ip address and point it to the host name subdomain this server is from ovh so we can log into ovh control panel and do it ourselves log into ovh panel click on bare metal cloud click on ip now find the ip address this is the ip address copy the host name to set reverse dns for this ip address Click on the edit button below the reverse DNS heading. Click on edit. Then paste the host name here and click on the blue tick mark. Now we have reverse DNS set for this IP address to server 46. Let's go back to the WHM and refresh. Now the reverse DNS is valid. You can see there is no warning here. Let's see if the SSL is issued. Search for service SSL again. Click on certificate details it is still self-signed ssl sometimes it may take more time for the ssl to be issued you just need to wait until the ssl is issued by cpanel thank you for watching hope you find the video useful if you like the video please subscribe for more videos like this